All right. All right, the stream is up now. So, Sony is kind of screwed right now. I mean, Microsoft had a strong showing. Uh, Ubisoft was all right. Bethesda was all right. Uh, Square Enix was pretty bad. EA was the worst. Devolver was... Devolver was, was an entertaining one. Even though they only reveal like three games. And uh, to pass the time, I don't think there's going to be a pre-show. Um, I could, I'm going to keep the window open in case there's a pre-show. Because you never fucking know. I mean, Undertale was literally like announced like 10 minutes before the main presentation. So I have no idea. So, I don't know. So to pass the time, to pass the time, I'm gonna do. I, I'm gonna play a game I've been actually been meaning to stream for a while. Um, do apologize that I don't do game streams as much as I used to. Uh, the the thing is, I don't want to prioritize on YouTube as much as I used to. Um, I mean, there are a lot of things that are going on in my life. Um, I'm looking for a new job, and uh, there's all these meetings I have to attend and stuff like that. So honestly, um, I'm taking it easy. It's it's no big deal for me. So I kind of want to make uh, kind of want to make things simple for YouTube stuff. So I'm gonna just put out videos whenever I feel like putting out videos. So I'm gonna stream while we wait some poker night. Two. Um, so we're gonna boot up Poker Night Two, and uh, we're gonna spend the next couple of minutes playing this while we wait. I, I have actually, I've already unlocked one of the items for the game, which is cool. So uh, we're gonna switch to that window. There we go. No, oh, it's. Oh, there's a. Oh, that's annoying. Give me a minute. Kind of, kind of want to scale this so it fills the screen. That close enough. It's not. It's not a widescreen game. Actually, I think it is, but it, I have to put it on full screen to do that. So we're just gonna have it stretched like that. Actually, there is another way we can do this. Center to screen. No. Ah, screw it. We'll do it like this. We're gonna do a new tournament. Texas Hold'em. Uh, I've actually, uh, yeah, Oklahoma is a lot more difficult than it looks. Trust me on this. Ready to try your luck again? All right. Before we begin in earnest, allow me to reset the bounty challenge randomizer. Yeah, you kind of have to do this in order to get items in this game. You have to, like, beat the bounties. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em. Okay. Oh, we got an ace. That's cool. I call. Uh. Hmm. Do I want to play this hand? Sure. I call. If if I get a three, two, and a five, that would be fantastic. There's three. There's three clubs. Um, my card and two other cards. I think I'll bet. There's a. There's pair as well. So. Huh, he bet two thousand. Mm. Nah, I'm folding. Back. 
I think I can dig a few quarters out of the sofa to call that. Oh, an FYI, that's actually not Bruce Campbell doing Ash. Um, I was a little surprised to learn that. Apparently, it's just a really damn good impersonator. Check. This hand were any more exciting. And yes, that is Patrick Warburton. Ah, <laughs> oh, God damn it! I would have. I actually had a flush. Had I had I stayed. Try not to freak out. I'm just tossing out a few of my extra chips. I'll call. Call. <laughs> Mr. Funny Chips hands King Hod. Mr. Williams has a flush. Oh damn, he had a flush too. I would have actually beaten it since Seven I had the ace. A pair of jacks. And Brock had fuck all. <laughs> I'm actually surprised Ash won that one. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that that's a bit bad. Uh, nah, I'm not playing that one. Oh, you lose the hand. I can't talk about it. Too stressful. No, it's just that. Uh, yeah, I noticed the stream is laggy. I don't know what the hell's causing that. Hold on a minute. Maybe if I switch the, uh, the video stream to this. Hmm, there, there has been something that's been draining my network, and I have no idea what's, what is draining my network. I noticed that problem too when I was streaming at Ubisoft. Uh, not Ubisoft. Uh, it was a, uh, it was Square Enix. I noticed that. I think it's because my dad might be using the Wi-Fi right now. I have no idea. So I do apologize if uh, the stream is really fucking laggy. There's not much I can do about that. So you're gonna have to bear with it. All right. What Mr. Williams is trying to say is that due to I'm just gonna skip the hand. It's gonna take too long. He's unable to relate the horrifying circumstances that led to the removal of his hand without risking his immortal soul and or this entire plane of existence. My translation software is a little fuzzy on this point. What he said. So. We have a tie, and the pop. Oh, there was a tie. Well, that's great. Okay. Two diamonds. That's great. I'll keep it. If you had cards like these, you'd pay anything to see the flop. But for now, I'll just call. Yeah, I'll call. I call. I'll raise. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. I'll call that. Call. Call. All right. Check. All right. All in. Yeah, he's bluffing. Nope. He's fucking bluffing. Eh. Why the hell not? Ah, hell. The odds of him actually having a 10 in his hand is unlikely. Yep. Just a pair of threes. Cool. So, if I get a six or an eight. Uh, I think I've did a bad mistake. Yep. I'm out. That's the stuff. I'm already out. Ace high, and Mr. Williams has a pair of threes. Ash wins the hand. Well, ripperonis. 
The player has busted out and must leave the table before everyone starts laughing. I'm gonna miss you. You are such a good listener. <laughs> God damn it, Claptrap. Alright. I'm gonna figure out what's causing the internet to be really, really bad. So I'm gonna investigate. Because I don't actually have any programs open that should drain this badly. Uh, no, I don't actually have anything open that would drag it, that would drain it this bad. Hmm. What if I offset the stream by like seven seconds behind and see what happens? I'm just going to troubleshoot this while I wait. Hmm. Because I have switched the profile back to live on OBS. Don't think there was any updates for it either. Hmm. I have updated my computer recently, so... There shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, it's really laggy. I'm losing like 50% of all my frames. And I honestly have no idea why. But, uh... You're gonna have to... I do apologize. I wasn't intending for technical difficulties as bad. Okay. Well. Ah, what the hell. We'll do a homer. Ready for more, I see. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. I'm going to stop the Sony stream for now. See what happens. Fold. Oh, fold already. Okay. I need to explain what a Homa is. Um, you must make... Um, I believe it's three of the cards in your hand and two of the community cards. Pretty sure. Oh no, it's two of your whole cards and three of the community cards, so... Uh, I have two aces, so I might as well raise... Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I call. I call. Buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy hand. Three aces. Jack a Rudy. <laughs> Bet. I raise. I can't figure out whether your re raise indicates a lack of poker skill or a lack of manners. To be fair, you could easily be both. Hmm. You better fucking fold. It's gonna take a lot more than that to scare off Ashley J. Williams. Check. I'll check. Well, since we're just oozing with confidence, I'll check that. I'll check that. Full house. I have a fucking full house. Fantastic. Jeez, if you're gonna make it this easy, I'll check too. The player has a full house. Ash has two pairs. Hold on. Yeah, pause notifications. There we go. Mr. Samson has two pairs. The player wins. 
Well, yeah, anyone could win with those cards. What's this emotion I'm feeling? It's like I wish I had those cards, but I also hate you for having them. That's envy, you emotionally stunted rhomboids. And now I'm learning arousal. <laughs> Jeez. Hold on, there might be something I screwed up on in the settings. Let me look back. In the Justin Sands are no longer... Yeah, that's because I created one. Give me a minute. I need to create a new event. I think there's a setting I forgot to turn off. Hold on a minute. No, it's set for low latency. That's the um, that's I, it's in the it's in the settings I want it. So I don't understand. I mean, the only thing I can see happening is my dad is it's either my dad or the fact that the YouTube stream is really fucking draining for some reason. I'm gonna switch to Twitch. Because they're, they're having it on Twitch as well. So I might as well switch to there. Shh. I'm going to switch to the 360p. Put the volume down. And we'll see how that changes things up. Oh, it doesn't. Well, that sucks. Uh, now nah, this hand is not that great, so I'm full on this. Why do we have dreams about flying? Sybil says that flying dreams are all about feelings of freedom, or something like that. I'm not talking about that head shrinker stuff. Why is flying something we even think we can do in our dreams? It's not like we can do it in real life. Claptrap steals the blinds. Oh damn! Thanks for the free money, everybody. Anyhow, like I was saying, big deal in some of my dreams. All right, I already got a pair. Dreams are weird like that. Sure, sure. But you've had experience with kicking things in the crotch. Your body knows what that feels like. But none of us has ever flown. We don't know what that feels like because it's impossible. But we all have flying dreams, right? What are you getting at? What if millions of years ago... Humans used to fly. All right, I'm gonna do this hand and then I'm gonna call quits because it's actually near time. Think about it. Flying dreams. Superman. Peter Pan. What if it's all an attempt by our brains to remind yeah, us how to fly? Yeah, you better fold that shit. Oh yeah. That's uh, crazy talk, Williams. Oh yeah. The player takes the pot. All right. Let's shut this down. So anyway. Alright. Alright. Is there anything that I screwed up in the settings? I don't think so. I mean, the buffer is at 3500, but that's usually the one I go with. Sometimes I lowered it, but uh, most of the time that wasn't an issue. Yeah, I don't see why internet is so fucking bad um okay, i'm gonna shut off steam all right Anything on uh, anything on my audio video drivers? There's an optional update, but that's about it. No need to no need to bother with that. And I can't even close the window. Well, that's just terrific. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's absolutely nothing. That's that's yeah it has to be my dad there's no other thing 
And of course he's watching all this high quality videos on Facebook and shit. Oh, it's on. The uh, Sony press conference is on. A lot earlier than I thought. So uh, we're gonna unmute this. Window capture on. Do apologize ahead of time. It's gonna be laggy as hell. And I can't do a damn thing to fix it. I'm not gonna barge on my dad and tell him to fuck off. Are they gonna be doing the live orchestra they did before? Yep, they are. Alright, let's. Alright, let's full screen this. And what the. Is this the Dreams game? What the hell am I looking at? The fuck? I don't know what the hell I'm looking at, but I like it. Oh. It'll begin shortly. Okay, so it's just a it's just a little video thing. Okay. Cool. They sound like they sound like rabbits. Why the fuck do they sound like rabbits? We're gonna wait a few more things. Mm. That's 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 what I wanted, yeah. My, my health is good, apparently, according to YouTube. My health is good. I don't know. I mean, I'm still losing frames, but it doesn't seem as bad as before. Obviously, I'm going to time code this shit once the stream is done, so you can skip all the park, uh, Poker Night 2 stuff. All right, and it's actually beginning now. Okay, so what are we starting with? There it is. There he is, Sean Layton. All right, I'm gonna put this on full screen. So, actually, no. Uh, yeah, I have to. Don't worry, I will uh, find a way to see your comments. I'm gonna use my phone to do this. This, this fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday, for those of you who need to know that. Um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Um, it's great to see the congregation as large as it is tonight under this single tent. Um, and for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie Kingsman. Mm. It's funny they mentioned that movie because uh, my dad was actually watching that the other day. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. It wasn't, I didn't see the whole thing, but it was kind of crazy. And the way that we're doing our E3 presentation this year. You know, we look at what the stories have we tell, to tell, and, and, and the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. And that changes our design, design ideas around what we can do for this show. So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey 
deeper into some of the key titles we've talked about All before, right. but we're going to talk about them in a different way. I got the live chat loaded up on my phone. So I can actually see your, you guys' is comments. You know, what we look at here um, at Worldwide Studios with inside Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm eating Honeydew Melons, in case you're wondering. For gaming and make it sing, and make it sing very loudly. Um, it's a gaming industry it's sometimes called, but certainly inside... Yeah, the stream is actually a little quiet. It's a calling. It's what we do. It's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you. And places they'd like to take you. Holy shit, what's with the bullshit talk? I mean, I don't remember last year starting off with that. They, like, showed the games immediately. So I'm wondering how long this is going to be. Will it be an hour, or is it going to be two hours, like it used to? I guess we'll have to wait and see. To invite to the stage, introduce to you, Gustavo Santorea. Gustavo Santorea. Name doesn't ring a bell. So. Oh. Okay. What? What the? What the fuck are they doing? Um Um uh, Sony ladies and gentlemen, aren't they innovative? Oh man, this is off to a bad start. <laughs> Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Mark. You've read my fucking thoughts. What? Exactly. <laughs> if this is segueing to, I don't know, Days Gone or, uh... Um... Wait. Is this supposed to be The Last of Us 2? Is, is that what's going on? Are they... Or is this segueing to The Last of Us Part 2? I haven't even played the first damn game. This could also be... This this could also be Death Stranding. I have no idea. I don't know why they would do Death Stranding for, first. I think that would be them blowing the load too early. And Banjo-Kazooie for PlayStation? I don't know how that's even possible. I mean, Banjo-Kazooie is still owned by Rare, and Rare is still owned by Microsoft. Like, the only way I could see Banjo-Kazooie on PlayStation would be on the Vita, because Microsoft doesn't actually have uh, a hold on the handheld gaming market. But the Vita's fucking dead, so no, it's not possible. Banjo-Kazooie in 3DS, though, hmm. That, that, would, that would be cool. But uh, I think it's a bit too late to uh, bring in more games on the 3DS. I mean, um, I know there's a Luigi Mansion game for 3DS, but I feel it's going to be one of the last ones. Then they're going to move on to the Switch exclusively. But uh, I don't know what Nintendo has in store for us. And you bet my fucking ass I'm hyped for what Nintendo's going to show us later. Um, tomorrow at 1 o'clock my time. I have like a meeting at 11. Hopefully I get out of there before uh, I miss the whole thing. And hopefully the buffering isn't as bad. Uh, how's the stream so far? I need, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, uns I'm gonna get out of the full screen for a second and check. Uh, uh I'm still losing stuff. That sucks. Sony Inter uh, Interactive Entertainment presents... Yeah, there it is. The Last of Us Part 2. And I know it's not Uncharted either because um, they did say this game was going to be on there. 
Yeah, that's the protect. That's the female protagonist from the first game. Pretty sure. They're gonna die. I have a feeling they're gonna die. <laughs> All right, we. Your old man really laid into you today. Okay, facial animations are pretty good, for the most part. A big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here. Don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's a. Uh... Ellie, yeah, that's that 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 was her name, yeah. Oh, I'm here, aren't I? Tina. Jesse. Huh. Hey, don't forget we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. The official animations are really fucking good at parts. Holy shit. Wait, is is she is she a lesbian? FYI, The Last of Us is a zombie game. I feel I need to mention this because uh, this looks nothing like a zombie game so far, but I have a feeling everything's gonna go to shit soon enough. And this, this stream is rated 18 plus now. I'm gonna have to leave. Uh, leave. Everybody leave the room now. Ah, there it is. We're back. We're back to the. We're back to the present day now. Oh shit. A gameplay footage. Oh shit. Gameplay. Oh, damn. Yes, I know you're thinking. Yes, yes, Logan Paul joke here. We know. Oh. 
Mm. I would not want that happening to me. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Whoo. How the hell did she not get spotted? Everything's gone down to shit now. Ooh. Ooh. Everything's gone to shit. Everything. Oh! Convenient bottle! This, this is fucking intense. What? What's she doing now? Oh! There you go. Holy fuck. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're back to this now? Last of Us Part 2. Alright, let me see if my stream is still going. It's still having problems. Yeah. Alright, back to full screen. What's next? That was a new look at The Last of Us Part 2. We're here live in Los Angeles at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little bit more to show. We have intermissions later. now? And I'm joined by my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. It's How are so, you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge night for Worldwide Studios. Why do you look like Vsauce Michael? Uh, what better guest to have for joining us about Worldwide Studios? Then the chairman of Worldwide Studios, Mr. Sean Layden. <laughs> Hello, Hi guys. sir. Yeah, good. good to be here. I thought you were just on stage. How did you get up here? So oh, nice. Diamond, so you uh, part two, you missed The Last of Us Part Sean, Two. Right across to the studio here. Right yeah. over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here, and I think it was a very, uh, a, a very powerful start for our E3 program for this. So season. we have The Last of Us Part Two. Um, we have Death Stranding coming up and Spider-Man coming up as well. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where is their, where's their head at? I mean, they are, they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of the Last of Us series. And I think what we saw tonight, I mean, that, that piece of, 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 of content was, was so impactful. I mean, the whole relationship between Ellie and Dina going into the combat sequence really shows that um, they're pulling out all the stops over at Naughty Dog. And they're going to have a very broad and ranging game that's not going to make you only only work at it as a player but you're gonna have to just think as a person which what, 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 what no that's get. that's not it it's just they're taking a small intermission there the yeah. part two. uh there's Looking gonna be more stuff incredible. on the way and speaking of incredible i mean worldwide studios lately i mean it's just been unbelievable horizon you had god of war which needs no introduction and detroit become human i mean what is the secret in oh detroit uh, become world human studios? well i'm, I'm glad they don't have to talk about it in e3 no harm, because right? the game's <laughs> actually out now <laughs> Right. A lot of ways, my job is just to move the boulders out of the road to make sure that creative talent can get where they need to go, you know, provide backup, provide scope, you know, provide generalized, you know, advice about where we can take this as, a, as, as an industry and, 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 as, and as a... As so a far, there isn't much but, to um, honestly, say. We've got 13 studios worldwide. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control um, as possible and just help support them through to their vision. That's kind of what we've been trying to do here. Last, it's not uh, it's Sony so never actually studios. done an intermission right before now, so uh, yeah I'm a little concerned into, uh, I'm not gonna lie right That's great I'm a little concerned that. about and, this uh, you know, I mean speaking about making fans happy I mean there's I think there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot and it has to do with God of War you know this right. is a celebrated game that's sold extremely well God of War is already out of fans and I mean one of the things I wanted to mention was you know I maybe the LC or an mm -hmm. expansion I have no idea plus you right. know, is this right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. Uh, with the advent of social media, we got we get a lot of real time feedback right. from the fans and the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is, is filled up with a lot of stuff that <laughs> we could talk about here or not talk about at all. But it's all important. We take it all all seriously. And New Game Plus was something that came through really strong and really hard through that kind of feedback loop. And I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it, and we should have some more updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right. Definitely. As someone, as someone who miraculously finished God of War with a two-year-old at home, 
That makes me very happy. I will somehow find more scary, time. That's kind of scary, but okay. I will find time to get, <laughs> he wasn't watching. Okay, thank I wanna, God. I want to confirm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Kids don't try this at home. Asleep, uh, yeah. but yeah, thank you so much, Sean, and it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing team at Santa Monica Studio are making that happen. Hey, if we so. can create uh, functionality and features that allow people to spend more time in the worlds we build, that's by definition a good thing. Excellent. Fantastic, so New Game Plus, that is confirmed, that is coming to God of yep. War. Have other uh, studios done a break? No, shortly. I don't think there was an intermission for yeah, any of the other conferences I've seen. About a month ago. Um, uh, something a little bit Sony's the only one who has team. actually and done and something like this. Talked about the four main games mm -hmm. that we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. I was wondering what the thought process was there. Well, you know, every year we try to let the the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year we felt that um, what we really want to do is take people. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be a two-hour stream four big pillar games that we're because right we're now. already at the 22-minute um, mark. See a bit more about. Um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really wide range of, um, of uh, titles there. Anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man and Ghosts. So, um, yeah, that's the Fort One, Ghosts. Don't come here expecting I to have don't know much about that game. New idea Guess we're going to find out soon happen. enough. Come here and sit with us and walk with us I would like to see gameplay footage see the, of uh, Death Stranding. I mean, we've gotten nothing but cinematic uh, we stuff. Do have a lot more coming from those so, games um, in the later hopefully we see like some of that tonight. Games that you are most excited about. Well, they're all fabulous, and I think the teams are really crushing it right across the board. But, but one thing I would say is, uh, there's one of the games that we're having out today that will be playable in three months. And Whoa! Stories, that and is. that's our favorite web slinger. Of course. Oh yeah. So we're see yeah. A lot of that tonight, and Spider Man's uh, coming up on 2018. I'm awesome. pretty thank sure this was somewhat known. Sean, thank you so much for dropping by. Always. So it's coming out in September. With the chairman of Worldwide Studio. Okay. It's great to see you guys. I'll head back to the pneumatic tube station. Then. All yes, right, please, please do. Right. And wear we, the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues. But in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during the short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. Uh Call of Duty? Really? Well, Call of Duty. Four Black Ops maps remastered. Mm. Black Ops 4. I don't really care much for Call of Duty at all this this means nothing to me slums Now, if it was Black Ops Remastered, that might have been a different story. Get immediate access to but no, it's. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 only when you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, it's for Black Ops 3? I uh, okay. I thought this was Black Black Ops 4. No, this is for Black Ops 3. Okay, that was unexpected. We've got some good friends as well. Yeah. Meredith Molinari and Ramon Russell. Welcome. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. Yeah, it's good, good to be, to be back. Here. Friendly yeah. faces. Uh, who are these right two? The showcase. Absolutely. Yeah, excellent. So I say we keep this moving here. And uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of... Oh, these two are related to Call of Duty. Black Ops Snore. ...on their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch day. But what we just I don't here give a fuck about Black, Black Ops 1, 1, 1, 1. Oh, excuse me, I mean Black Ops Why the fuck is it written like that? I will never understand what is wrong with using Roman numerals. Are you just so ashamed of having made this many fucking Black Ops games? I, I don't get it. That is going to be Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is and, coming to PlayStation and Plus. And that chick looks tonight. like fucking yeah, April O'Neil awesome. with her yellow yeah, coat. Nice. This is why I love E3, because not only do we get to share awesome news with our, our audience, but PlayStation Plus subscribers get a little treat. Get a little, extra a little, little tasty treat. treat. Right. Little, <laughs> yeah. little mid E3 supply. I am, I'm convinced that's supposed <laughs> to be v Vsauce Michael <laughs> in another universe. We got to share five really cool announcements last week when we did our countdown, kind of ramping up for tonight's big showcase. That's right. We had the countdown to E3, and that was five game reveals and updates over a span of five days. A lot of great stuff. Yeah, and it was really fucking disappointing. 
seriously the the countdown stuff was just really fucking disappointing like woo oh now they're just gonna show off the games yeah first one was tetris tetris effect and then we had the release date for days gone which, I'll be honest, I don't really care much for. Is my, my internet connection is getting better now? What is this? Oh, hey! My internet connection isn't as shit anymore. Okay. Fantastic. Focus. Remember. Then we have Twin Mirror. That game actually looks a little interesting. Not gonna lie. That actually looks interesting. But really, who are you? Then we have Ghost Giant. Whatever. Then we have this game. Apparently, it's popular in Reddit, according to Sony. But I've never actually heard of this game. Uh, like, I guess. I, I think I may have heard of this game somewhat, but didn't really pay much attention to it. But yeah, it's on PlayStation VR. Yeah, that's the other thing. There, some like two of these are like VR games, like whoop de doo Welcome back. We're just a few. Oh minutes god, that that awkward smile. Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we can see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. Oh, the about to so that's about what's going on. The big event. Yeah, they were at a weird stuff, fucking stage. There was, like, like, yeah, they, they were at a much different stage this time. It was like a much smaller stage, and now they're moving people to the main yeah, stage. So what the hell was going on on the main stage that they had to move everybody out? Um, okay. Which is... Yeah, they play that... Oh. If... Uh, I'm buffering? What the fuck? Um, okay. Gotta refresh the page. Billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that. Did the stream just fucking crash? Holy shit, I think the stream just fucking crashed. Yeah, everybody is saying the stream just. Ah, uh, fuck sakes. Stream is offline, people. Sony fucked up. Sony screwed up. Let's see if YouTube's stream is open. Let's find out. They do. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take a, a first look at the next chapter right now. Oh my god, the Twitch stream crashed, but the YouTube stream is alright. So we're going to switch to that. Alright, so we're on the YouTube thing, so let me switch to that. Alright, so what, what what game is this? Alright, let's put this... Uh, Is this the ghost game that we're talking about, or... Yeah, tw the Twitch Sony stream just crashed. I don't know why, it just completely crashed. So, we're gonna have to... So, I'm switching to YouTube. So, and I'm probably gonna stick on YouTube, because... Is this Destiny? Because Bungie... Isn't, isn't Bungie like a first party? first party thing because from what i've been told there isn't supposed to be anything third party there's supposed to, uh, i mean first party there's only supposed to be third party stuff indie stuff and for me uh first party uh, first party or exclusive stuff okay so it is destiny 2 forsaken i wasn't actually expecting destiny 2 stuff okay 
That, that was a powerful new look at Destiny 2. Ooh. Forsaken is coming out September 4th on PS4. And I don't care. For that one. I heard Destiny and, uh, didn't yeah, do it, it looks, so it hot, really and neither did the second one. Mode up, like, they're still... I, I think I complained about this exact thing three years ago. That's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to Literally seconds away. Meanwhile, the stream crashed on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot more in store tonight. Um, but for now... Holy fuck. Like, I, I wasn't expecting Sony to just, like, nosedive the stream like this. Like, damn. So let's check it out. They're gonna need one hell of a miracle in the next couple of minutes. Meanwhile, okay, so that's what was going on on, uh, that's what, what was going on on the stage the whole time. It's just this guy doing music in the backdrop of, uh, fields. I just, I, I know that, I know that they did the whole, um, they did the whole um, orchestra thing two years ago, but aren't they pushing this a bit? I think this is- I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for the ghost game. Oh god. I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that. It sounds so off tune. Jesus Christ. kind of music inst musical instrument they're bringing for uh for that stranding <laughs> i'm curious or any or uh, will there be any instrument uh, probably an electric guitar for spider-man <laughs> they're really taking their time with this shit too like so much fucking padding And it's done. Look, look, look. A lot of people are like looking at their phones. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents. So this is the ghost game. I don't know who makes it. I, I don't know who makes this game. Uh, who's gonna make? Who's gonna be making this game? I have no idea. So Mongol invasion. Okay. Oh, I haven't tested my microphone. Yet. I haven't actually listened to my own microphone to see if it's working properly. Uh Okay. 
There's horse riding. Alrighty. I think I can bump up the stream to, uh, no, it's, it's automatically there, okay, it's automatic. This game looks fucking gorgeous, holy shit. Okay, the quality, the video quality may not make it look like it's that good, but uh, I bet on HD this would look, this looks phenomenal. Ooh. Damn. Oh, there's more. <laughs> the bastard beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. Oh, I I can get behind this. I'm digging this. We need him, Masako. <laughs> I think those are supposed to be pop. No, the, the, those are leaves. Thought those were poppies for a second. No, they're leaves. No, remember Sako Bridge. We strike quietly, and they kill the monks. Yeah, this is easily two hour stream because we're already 39 minutes in. And they're only showing off two games so far. Well, two major games. Speaking of uh, the samurais and ninjas, uh, wouldn't be surprising if there are ninjas in this game as well. But uh, speaking of samurais, I've seen Batman, Batman Ninja. That was actually a pretty good movie. And yeah, that there was a, like a heavy Japanese thing going on in that movie. I mean, it takes place in, uh, Jap in ancient Japan. It was really good. Go. He called reinforcements. We have to move. <laughs> Masako. Stand aside, Jin. He betrayed my family. Run! If we fight, the Mongols win. They already won.
This looks so fucking cool. You are my friend. Give me luck. No. Oh. Ghost of Tsushima. There it is. Sucker Punch. I forgot what game Sucker Punch are known for. Jeez. Uh, Wasn't those the guys who made uh, Sly Cooper? Or am I thinking of someone? Uh, another. Oh god, this fucking band again? Yeah, it is. It, it was part of... Okay, so it was made with dreams. Okay. That makes sense. That's why it looks so familiar. And what's this now? Tomb Raider? The oldest house is a shifting place. Rituals. You can keep traveling deeper. What the hell is this? A lot of things related to cubes and what the hell is even going on? Okay, this this looks trippy as fuck. What? Control. It, why was the camera point at the the backdrop? That was uh, that was weird. Oh, I hear a lot of cheering. Must have been the game makers. It's 2019. So what else? It's a PlayStation controller. Cigarette, the uh, tray, and the uh, pizza. Are we mice? 
or something. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. It's. L oh my god, Raccoon. I just saw Raccoon on the emblem. On the police emblem. So, yeah, it's Resident Evil. It's Resident Evil 8. All that was fucking Leon. I, I didn't... I, I had to make sure it was actually Leon. But... Yeah, it's fucking Resident Evil. Holy shit. You do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. So it's a new Resident Evil game. Okay. I saw, like, Raccoon on the... On this is police badge or whatever. And God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. I'm surprised they're making a new Resident Evil this fucking soon. Like holy crap. Oh okay. Resident Evil 2? Are they like rebooting Resident Evil or something? I don't understand. Or is it a remake of the first, of the second game? I have no idea what's going on. So it's Resident Evil 2. So they're rebooting it? So what's next? Put the damn thing back on screen, you idiots. It's a guy in this guy doing music. From Squatch Games and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Hey, what's what? up, everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy. The creator Rick and Morty. Okay, you have my interest. At this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover saves the universe. Even though I've never actually watched Rick and Morty. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy. I'm always in my bathtub, but, you know, it's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Kingdom Hearts 3, obviously. Yeah, Rick and Morty and fucking Kingdom Hearts 3, boys. Why have Pickle Rick when you can have Pickle Sora? Pickle Donald and Pickle Goofy. Trevor saves the universe. Alright. I think they showed off this game before, but I... It might have been something. There we go! Kingdom Hearts 3. There it is. There it is. Fires of the Caribbean! Yes! 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 All of my fucking yes! Pirates of the Caribbean! Yes! Oh my god. It's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. They're on the raft. Holy cr I thought it was gonna be the Big Hero 6 world they're gonna unveil for Sony, but no. The, this is fine too. This makes up for the shit that was this Square Enix Express conference. Holy crap. I never, I never knew I wanted this. I mean, Port Rail wasn't exactly that good of a, a level, in my opinion, but this 
This is fine. This is fucking fine. This looks amazing. I remember when this level was, like, revolutionary on PS2. Like, it was insane, the graphics back then, but, uh, this... Wow. We're actually back to Pirates of the Caribbean. That's fucking crazy. And Sora's outfit is incredible. Holy crap. Holy crap. So we have Frozen and Pirates of the Caribbean. Holy shit. From all the returning worlds, I wasn't expecting Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, and Lux Luxord is back. <laughs> Which is fitting, given this is what happened in the last game. Let me guess, are you going to grab some gold coins again and throw them overboard? Oh, Hercules. Again. Then and it's this damn song again. Holy shit. I'm happy. I'm fucking happy about this. That's not Billy Crystal. I can tell that's not Billy Crystal's voice. I still can't get used to this new- what the fuck? Can't get used to this new Rico uh, look with much shorter hair, but okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Zigbar's back. I, I knew this. This was kind of teased at the uh, Sunny Press Conference, at uh, uh, Square Enix Press Conference. And we have a limited edition- wait. What? Wait, what's this? Yeah, that, that's, that, that's everything. 2.8, yeah, that's all of them. And Kenny Mars 3. All in one package. Oh! Damn. That's nice. Holy crap. Now, can we get something related to Final Fantasy 7? Pirates of the Caribbean, holy shit. <sighs> ah, here we go. Did we really need to see Baby Butt? Seriously? It was bad enough when it was just the head, but now the butt too? <laughs> so here it is, Death Stranding. I'm sure most of us was waiting for this. And I still don't understand what the hell is going on. So, you have dunes, like me. What's your level? I've got the extension factor, but I think you got me beat. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. I can't help you with that. A dear Kojima game. I'll make deliveries. Well, of course. That's all. Oh, dang it. This fucking stream's gonna be copy blocked. Dang, damn it. <laughs> oh, okay, this looks cool. Are they on Mars or something? Nah, he doesn't have a helmet on, so it must be some sort of desert. That looks... Wow, that... That looks like it stinks. What the fuck? What the absolute fuck is he carrying? 
like a body on his back? Is this the P- yeah, this was the- sort of, kind of like PT? I mean, it's the same people, but it's probably not the same game that PT was supposed to be. But it does have the same people. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't feel safe walking. On a fucking ladder like that. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, why would you show that? Uh. <sighs> huh. Is this where the weird stuff happens now? So far, it's been surprisingly tame. What are you fucking looking at, you freak? Oh, there's the invisible monsters. There they are. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I've never seen you before. Biker outfit. Yeah, they did. Yeah, in the last year they were holding their breaths as well. If I had to guess, uh, these invisible monsters are blind, but they have super sensitive hearing. If I had to guess. So far, it's just a cinematic stuff. But there's no gameplay footage. That's, that's the thing that bugs me the most. Give me your hand in debt? What? So that's the weird thing from the last trailer, too. Those things never stay gone for long. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sound board bridges. Give me your hand in flesh. What's your status? Aurelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. Got an idea. That's the baby pod thing. Oh, shit. Okay, we can actually see them now. That's fucking freaky. This is gameplay footage. Pretty sure it is. And they have long umbilical cords. And they're adults. Adults with umbilical cords. What the fuck?
Death Stranding. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. I don't. A crypto keeps the time fall away. What the fuck? Did you just eat that little fucking thing? Ugh. What the fuck? You're too late. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Give me your hand and spirit. We got gameplay footage at least. It wasn't much, but oh, um, Dynasty Warrior stuff. I think. Yeah, this looks like I think this is Dynasty Warrior. Um, pretty sure it is. I mean, Team Ninja was buying that stuff. Dude. Is it Dynasty Warrior or the the warrior stuff? Wait. Oh, that's, this is, okay, that's what it is, okay. I know some people might be happy to hear that. That this thing's getting a sequel. Defy debt. Debt defies you. Okay. I know Kojima's supposed to make an appearance, I think. Apparently, he, he tweeted that he arrived at L.A., so... Wouldn't surprise me if he shows up. Eventually. Okay, what's this now? Ooh. I think this is the Spider-Man thing. Yep. This is the Spider-Man thing. Although I'm surprised they're doing it now. It's like 11.04. So what the hell do they have for the next 26 minutes? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Saw the spire senses. That's cool. So... This is supposed to be Electro? Mutants? Electro. Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center. Oh, gee, that's the prison in Deadpool 2. I'll go join the party. Shit. This, that's not good. Now you have all these mutants and shit. I'd shit myself hard if Deadpool pops out of nowhere. How's your bingo cart? Uh, I've actually not made a bingo cart. I might do one for Nintendo. I've just been occupied with a lot of things. So I didn't even bother. So, yeah. Ooh, shit. Now, who could that be? Oh, Rhino. Okay. Talking about. Hey, what's your status? Me? Just 
trapped in a prison with every criminal I've put away in the last eight years. No big deal. <laughs> oh no, the scorpion. This is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was busy. <laughs> So we got a lot of classic Spider-Man villains in this. That's fucking great. Combo system too, I just noticed. That's cool. Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. Gotta stop this guy. <laughs> oh damn. Holy shit. Holy shit. Whoa. 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 Look at all the real uh, look at all the quick time events and shit. Oh shit, Vulture. Oh. <laughs> So we have Electro, Rhino, Scorpion, and Vulture. Oh, Green Goblin's gotta show up eventually. Or Doc, yeah, Doc Ock too is possible. We haven't seen him yet. Or Sandman. Uh. You know, do you know Spire game I really need to play again? The, 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 the ones in the PlayStation 1 and the sequel. Those games were made by freaking Neversoft of all companies. The people who were known for Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I need to play those again because, dang, those were fun. There's Vulture. Again. Rhino. So, uh, where's Scorpion? The, no, oh, no, wait, that's Vulture. Okay. So Scorpion, and that's the third, yeah, this guy. This guy was from the last trailer. Don't actually know his name. I know he has a name, I just don't remember it. Oh, he's here to join in on the fun. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. No, someone help him. Someone help Spider-Man. He can't do this shit all on his own. What? What? You? Who? Who the hell? Who the hell saved him? I didn't hear that. Maybe the maybe YouTube comments will help. Oh, it doesn't say? A lot of people saying it's, uh... It's, uh... A lot of people are saying it was, in fact, um... It was Iron Man. 
if that's the case, that's pretty fucking cool. And I think that's it. Unless there's one more thing they're gonna show off. I'm I'm hoping they're showing off something at the end. Something insane. I am hoping. But then again, the last conference also ended with Spider-Man. Uh, cross my fingers. Shenmue 3! No. God damn it. That you, was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. You fucking trolls. I was hoping that was Shenmue 3. First live gameplay. Mm. Right here, just a couple of minutes. We have a new game to announce. We have some other stuff to talk about, too. What a show. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Top highlights, go. Oh. Okay, so they were announcing a new game. Oh, my goodness. Ghost of Tsushima looked absolutely incredible. Those so they're also announcing a new game. Yeah. Here, I apparently. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Suck a punch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Meredith. Oh, right. I don't know why those Call of Duty boys, uh, so boy and girl, are still there. For that one. Um, and there was like a moment where you're like, I'm not really sure I know what this is. And then as soon as he turned his head, I was like, yes. And you get that, oh, that, so that RE4 style over the shoulder camera yes. action. Oh. It's kind of like the, oh, yeah. The, the new Spider-Man movie that that's coming out. That's what that looks so, really uh, fucking good. Yeah. Nice and gory. <sighs> oh, man. I might actually w w want to watch that's that in strange. theaters. I don't know. I now, we now have more questions. Like yes. Spider-Man. Yes. More questions. More questions. It, it looks like Spider-Man 2. Not like, Spider-Man 2. Deadpool 2 is like the first movie I've seen in theaters. And kind of what the character uh, in like eight years I, uh, Deadpool 2 was really fucking good if, if you guys haven't seen it I, I do recommend it strange and unusual babies continue to be a theme <laughs> yeah it wasn't a myth no. don't, know, don't know what we're gonna find out there but yeah so a ton of great stuff in the show overall I mean Neo 2 that was a crowd pleaser that was one that was great to see get out there we got an update on Kingdom Hearts 3 we got a lot of other great stuff we have I'm not gonna lie I I think Microsoft really still still really beat Sony. Just, I, I mean, the amount of shit more they were unveiled was un was insane. Like and, like, I don't know what oh. Sony was mostly <laughs> stuff we already knew about, no but it's great to have more details on. I mean, the Kingdom Hearts three parts of Caribbean stuff was nice. Not gonna lie, that was that was that was that was legit. I mean, just but, uh, I don't know if I should keep watching this. I mean, the stream is still on, so maybe there's some more stuff. I don't know. Whoa. New game? Hits keep coming. So you guys know From Software. Absolutely. From Software? Okay. I'm listening. And it is quite a departure from the kinds of games that we sort of know. So it's VR from from software. The first footage of that right now. Okay. Hmm. So it's a VR game. Yeah, I noticed it didn't have any VR game in the conference. Okay. That's something I noticed. So it's from from software. Hmm. Aren't you excited? It's a rabbit. You're snake. Going to be a fairy. And live in the world where time stands still. Hmm. When nobody can see what you're up to ever again. Glowy baby. I mean, okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. I think the conference last year was not all that great, to be honest. But, and this conference was better-ish. Not gonna lie, it was was better, but um, still not as great as Microsoft's press conference. Nor Devolver Digital. I mean, then again, Devolver Digital. 
is more for entertainment value than actual game announcements. Is this game? Darasine? Darasine? Uh, from Software's new title coming to PlayStation VR. Quite a departure, very artistic. Still don't know a ton about how it actually plays yet, but certainly. Okay, that was a weird do, fucking say. teaser. And speaking of compelling, let's get to that <laughs> Spider Man. It is time. We have some All right, so. We yeah, sure that's right. do. Brian so they have hey, some hey, more so uh, Spider-Man stuff to talk about. Okay. Giving us your time. Of course, yeah, of course. Evening. Happy to be here. Um, and also, congratulations, kind of closing out some of the show there with uh, Marvel Spider-Man. It's how does it feel? It's uh, not gonna lie, I really am not a big so, fan of closing uh, out games you, uh, with games we already knew about. Villains, so we decided we'll I kind of much prefer when the end things would have made your surprise, like a bombshell. Adam's gonna show off the, That's right. uh, but there series. could be some exceptions, I mean, I like the Mar like, like Super Mario Odyssey. About like yeah. we knew about yeah. the game, but we're, we're we didn't know about the, the mechanic involving Cappy. So, so that that is a major so exception because that yeah, was still uh, a surprise. Pretty much. So, I mean, if you think about with Marvel so Spider-Man, it's the fact that returning villains are like classic Spider-Man villains are confirmed. But that's it. And maybe Iron Man's in it, but it isn't much. But in between, like something like you saw in the raft, or we showed that back at last E3. What? You can just swing what the hell was that? New York City and have fun. What the fuck was that? Yeah, this. Oh god. Oh, this, yeah. this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah. What, what? Got all, got, who's who's hijacking the microphones? I keep hearing, like I heard some weird fucking guy. Right now. Yeah. That's right. I want to emphasize how yeah, beautiful we, this game is. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, well, yeah, Brian, tell me a little bit about what you guys want to show us uh, uh, this evening. So I, think, I, I don't know what the hell's is even going you know, on. I think the part of the Spider-Man Spider fantasy is to swing around what, New York City. What's, and, you know, to what's have going on with the audio? It's a great story, but have a bunch of different activities in that world. And we want to, you know, give people who attend E3 an opportunity to experience that. So, you know, obviously, we it's a big narrative-driven experience. But at the same time, part of that superhero fantasy, especially that Spider-Man experience, is living uh, within New York City and seeing that. So, um, you know, Adam is one of uh, he's one of our combat pro players because uh, he's a combat designer. And uh, <laughs> again, he's just showing off. Okay, really so awesome stuff that, um, we have more gameplay footage. All right, game. seems you know, the weird we audio thing is fixed now. Same time, that was fucking weird. Uh, show off the improvisation. Uh, that really, uh, don't think a lot there's nothing. I don't think there's like much else after the that. Maybe some uh, that that, really yeah, that yeah, stranding fun. gameplay I footage. The, the that would be nice. Really these last, you know, like more say, of that, six please. Since, uh, we got back from the Especially break, with buttons on screen. Every week, I feel like I'll take the game home, or I'll be playing one night, and then I'll come in and say, "Ooh, oh, guys, I didn't know you could do that." Ooh, so damn. There's a lot look of at this landscape. Nature to it as well. So I look, mean, look at this. Can, you know, we have look at this. Teach mechanics, but we want you to experiment with, you know, his acrobatics, his webs, his gadgets, his suit powers. So combining all that stuff really allows for a lot of different gameplay and a lot of, you know, experiments. Very expressive character. We want players to be able to express that, whether it's in traversal or in combat. It's gorgeous. These yeah. animations, sorry, these animations are just blowing my mind. Your, your studio has kind of been renowned for Oh. Fluid motion. Okay. Did you guys take a lot of lessons from your previous games and really like hone in on those when you were developing? Oh, I mean, I think animation definitely. Spider-Man needs to fix that road now, cause damn, he just he just destroyed the fucking concrete. Uh, I mean, asphalt. I remember when um the Sunset Overdrive reviews came out, one person actually wrote. It would be great to see Insomniac make a Spider-Man game. And I was like, see, see, we should make it. <laughs> see? And I think we you just, waved your phone around it, it, to the whole studio. Exactly. We took that kind of mentality and we just injected our kind of our personality. It, but also, um, you know, what do people want, desire from a Spider-Man experience? So, you know, it was really great as I remember... Um, uh, end of the year, actually, uh, in the last year. I actually, I actually do need to stop here. Sorry, guys. Um, it is 1130. I actually do have a meeting tomorrow morning so um i think it'd be wise to close shop so um what i think of the conference um it was better than last year's but that isn't saying much i'm uh, not gonna lie i was disappointed in some areas 
could have been so much better and there was just so much fucking padding it's ridiculous oh my god the fucking filler like damn there was so much filler it's unbelievable so uh, but uh, I guess that's it um, that is all I'd like to thank everybody who uh, came to watch my stream. As janky as it was at the start. But, uh, yeah, I think things... Oh, okay, so it got laggy at times again, but... Uh... <sighs> All right, I'm just hoping tomorrow's stream isn't as bad as this. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah... I don't know, guys. I think Microsoft kind of has this in the bag unless Nintendo can turn things around with just Smash Brothers and whatever other crazy thing they're going to announce. So, um, yeah. That's going to do it for tonight. This is Angry John, over and 